What time is it? It's 11 already. Do you think we can finish? Don't ask me. I'm sorry. My name is Yuto Tanaka and I work for a major corporation. The salary is not bad and I don't hate my job. But I can't take it anymore because... Well, I got home before midnight. As you see, I have to work overtime almost every day. Of course, I get paid for my overtime. But the problem is that we are a major corporation and we have lots of work to do. I wish we had a few more people, but the president of the company has a no compromise mentality and people who can keep up with her quit their role, so we're always short of employees. Good morning and good luck for the rest of the day, but please don't work overtime. When I was on active duty, I didn't work overtime. A competent member of society is one who finishes work on time without working overtime. Then the sales manager and the production manager will go straight to the conference room. That's only possible because she's good at what she does. We can't do it. The president is a demanding person, both in herself and others, and is a woman of ability who started a company when she was a student and developed it into tens of millions of dollars in annual sales. That's why she had high standards for her employees. No one is against her because she's actually very competent. No one is against her probably because there are rumors that if you go against her, you will be fired. That might have happened to some of the people who have quit so far. The salary is good. So many employees are trying to avoid being fired. Cheers! Well, it's been a long time since we've finished work so early. Yeah, it's been harder than expected because it's financial year-end. I totally agree. The president demands too much from us. She says we can do it so easily. By the way, I heard that another new project is starting up. In our department? I heard that too. Oh, we've just got over one task, but we are still in the hell. I'm happy to see profits go up, but my body won't make it. That's right. Yuto, are you alright? You don't look so good. Lately, it's hard to get up in the morning. Well, I shouldn't say this here, but I'm thinking of quitting the company. Seriously? If you quit too, our department won't be able to keep going. I've saved up some money and I'm thinking of taking some time off. Ah, Yuto was working particularly hard. I guess it can be helped. Alright, let's not just drink at these places for the farewell party. Let's do it in a fancy way. You just want to go yourself, don't you? That's true, but I'll miss you definitely. They're all good guys, really. I'm lucky to have them as my colleagues. Well, if I'm going to quit anyway, why don't I tell the president something I wouldn't dare to tell? She might not listen, but I hope it could make things easier for them. Thank you for all your hard work. Can you hold your hands for a moment? What's going on, President? Lately, I've been hearing a lot of dissatisfaction from people behind the scenes. That's why I'm surveying each department to find out what we can do to improve. I'm sorry to do this unannounced at work, but do you have any suggestions? Any improvements? The first thing is that she doesn't take into account the fact that if she comes during work, we'll be distracted and we won't be able to work. Of course, no one makes eye contact with her, let alone express an opinion. So no one has an opinion here. Can I? Yes, of course. It's going to be a long talk. Can we go in another room? Really? Then let's use the conference room. Well, my work is done, so I'm fine. My colleagues looked at me impatiently, but I was just as well, because I was originally going to talk to the president anyway. So what kind of complaints are there in your department, Mr. Tanaka? What you said can be misleading. I think there are problems in the company as a whole rather than in the department. Hmm, go on. That's very kind of you. First of all, we have a very small number of staff. That increases the workload per person and forces us to work overtime. It was tougher when I started my own business and I could handle it. The president may be competent, but not everyone can do it. It's easy to fire them as less competent, but I think hiring more people and more education would be good for the future of the company. What? We are able to run our operations now, but what are you going to do if one day we all quit? It's not like you can't pay them a salary. Besides, I think it would be stressful to put pressure on them in the morning meetings. <laughs> What's so funny? No one has ever given me an opinion before, and I didn't know I was going to be lectured further. You're funny. It's not funny. Anyway, if you care about the company, you have to care about the people. Alright, what else is there to say? Oh, I ended up blurting it all out. I didn't think I'd talk so much that I wouldn't be able to do my work in the morning. I was prepared to be fired anyway, but I said a lot of things and I hope there will be some improvement. I'll pack my bags tomorrow in case I get thrown out from the company at any time. Mr. Tanaka, can I have a word? 
Yes, good morning, President. Am I fired? Why are you fired? No, can you come over here for a minute? What? Yes, okay. Where are we going? I'm investigating other departments. Like yesterday, I wanted you to hear some opinions too. What? I don't think I'd be much used to you. Just listen and give me advice like you did yesterday. Okay. Sorry to suddenly interrupt you, but is there anything you'd like to see improved in this department? Well, um... President, I felt like yesterday, you know it's hard to say something unannounced in that way. Do you think so? There are things that are hard to say face to face. I think this is something that needs to be improved. <laughs> well, you make it clear. Okay, I'll change my ways. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. No, not at all. You can go back, Mr. Tanaka. Thank you. Is that all I have to do? For today, I'll ask you again. Do I have to do these things again? Ah, <sighs> ever since that day... I've been called in by the president. Instead of getting fired, I got more work. Well, that's good. Thanks to you, there are more employees coming in every department. Mr. Tanaka, can I have a word? Oh, she's calling you. Good luck. Again? Please give me a break. You've already interviewed all the departments, haven't you? I can't do my own job like this. Oh, I've thought about that. Come on in, come on in. Are you sure? Excuse me? Uh, President, what's this all about? I'm about to go to a board meeting. Can you sit next to me and listen to what we say? What? How did this happen? You say everything without judging, which is helpful. But I think I shouldn't attend board meetings. Just go ahead, that's your job. So, is it correct that the Information Systems Department should be downsized to increase accountings in this case? Oh, wait a minute! Well, Donna, guys, there's something wrong. Uh, it's true that we need more people and more work, so we need more accountants. But if we downsize the Information System, maintenance of the Management System will be slower. So I think it would be better to increase the number of both at the same time. What about finances? I think the overtime costs are getting too much, so let's identify the operations. It will put a temporary strain on our finances and our suppliers, but I'm sure they'll understand if you tell them what's going on. Certainly, let's think about it. It's my treat today, so drink a lot. Cheers! Okay, I mean, I didn't expect to be appointed secretary to the president after the board meeting. <laughs> Until now, everyone was always looking at me and had no opinion. I want Mr. Tanaka to be by my side, who speaks up straight to the point. <laughs> to be honest, I'm embarrassed to admit that at first I was thinking of quitting my job, and that's why I could speak up. But thanks to you, turnover has gone down, overtime has gone down, and performance has gone up. You're too close, President. <laughs> Any other suggestions for improvement? Well, yes, if I had to say, I'd say. What would you say? It's difficult that my current house is far from the office. Is that so? Would you like to live in my house then? It's a five minute walk from the office. What? Are you kidding me? Are you drunk? Well, I thought it was a good idea because I kind of like you. What? Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have anyone because I'm too busy with work. Then that's good. I'm not good at housework. How about you, Mr. Tanaka? Well, I've lived alone for a long time, so you mean we're going to live together? Are you sure? I don't have a boyfriend, so there's no problem. I think that's not relevant. So I went straight to live at the president's house. Despite her dignified attitude at work, the president is lazy at home. She sometimes drinks and sleeps in her underwear, and it's sometimes difficult to know where to look. Still, as a secretary, it was helpful to be able to talk about work with her. Then one day... Hey, Mr. Tanaka. What is it? Are you talking about what's for dinner today? Then it's the omelette rice that you like. That's not what I meant. You don't have a girlfriend yet, do you, Mr. Tanaka? Yes, I can't find anyone under such busy circumstances. Then, will you stay by my side from now on? What do you mean? I want you to officially go out with me. I'm telling you, this is not an order from your boss. If you want to refuse, you can refuse. I won't even fire you. So, tell me your honest feelings without trying to gauge my feelings. Well, that's... You're going to do fine, Vice President. I keep my private and public life separate, so there's no problem. Right, Yuta? <laughs> yes, that's right. She and I officially started dating and eventually got married. I expressed my opinion with the intention of quitting the company, so why did this happen? But, well, the working environment has improved and it's not a bad idea to keep working hard with your strong-willed but beautiful wife, is it? With this in mind, I live happily with my president, or should I say, Reika.